Ladies and gentlemen, from the Commonwealth of Virginia, Congressman Ben Klein. Hello, CPAC. I'm Ben Klein from the Commonwealth of Virginia, the great battleground state through which our Republican majority in the House of Representatives is going to take hold this November, and once and for all, we will retire Nancy Pelosi from the Speakership of the House of Representatives. It is great to be back at CPAC. I always appreciate the opportunity to get out of the swamp of Washington, D.C., and be around so many like-minded conservatives, or as I like to say, real Americans. I want to thank Matt Schlapp and the ACU for inviting me to speak. CPAC is absolutely one of my favorite weekends, and I'm honored to be able to be with you during this time. This is our opportunity to show folks how fed up and frustrated we are that Biden, Pelosi, and the squad continue to pull our country further and further to the radical left. And we're going to keep that progress going. We're going to keep that pressure on. And while the D.C. elites living in the northern part of my state have tried to make us the California of the East, our new governor, Glenn Youngkin, and the rest of our state have successfully stopped this lurch to the left. In an omen of things to come nationally, they're building the Commonwealth into an economic powerhouse, restoring law and order, and reinserting parents into their children's education where they belong. But with less than 100 days left until the election, it's going to take hard work from passionate conservatives like all of you to follow Virginia's lead and renew America. Together, we can defeat the leftist agenda of Nancy Pelosi, of AOC and the squad, and the one-party rule that has nearly destroyed all that we hold dear. Every year, we hear that the next election is the most important of our lifetime. Without sounding like a broken record, with our nation standing on the edge of a crumbling cliff, I'm here to tell you this is the most important election of our lifetime. We're dealing with a Democrat party that constantly pushes the envelope of bankruptcy, both morally and financially. These folks who think that a boy is a girl, believe the border is secure, think the retreat in Afghanistan was a success, ignore the Supreme Court and revel in the fact that gas prices have gone down even though they doubled under their failed Green New Deal policies. It's little wonder that they can't define for you what you have known for a while. We are in a recession. Families are struggling. Their paychecks can't keep pace with the massive rise in costs for groceries and gas and most everything in between. Yet President Biden and his party twist themselves like a pretzel to avoid any responsibility for this calamity. And right now in the U.S. Senate, they're doubling down on their inflation-causing policies. Enough is enough. We need you to step up through your support for conservative candidates all over the country, from California to Virginia, including the Commonwealth, where we have some great candidates that are going to help us take back the majority in the U.S. House of Representatives. The left tells us that we're bad people because of what we believe. They try to tell us that because we support the Second Amendment, because we stand up for the unborn, because we promote fiscal responsibility, because we believe in traditional values, and because we love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that we are somehow less than. Like you, I am sick and tired of it. I will not back down. I will fight alongside my colleagues in the Freedom Caucus, and I urge you to join me. Are you with me? Are you with me? Yeah. Great. Let's restore the America that Ronald Reagan said was that shining city on the hill. Thank you all. God bless you. God bless CPAC. God bless the United States of America.